Engineers at Washington University are using an unusual research model to test a new drug delivery method. Using locusts, they have shown that drugs could one day be delivered directly to the brain by using nanoparticles and aerosol technology, making it as simple as a sniff. Getting life-saving drugs delivered through the blood-brain barrier directly to the brain without an invasive or risky procedure has researchers looking for an alternative. Washington University engineers in the Aerosol and Air Quality Research Lab had an idea. They are banking on gold and locusts. But the idea about gold, as in gold nanoparticles, came first. They are creating nanoparticles to be a drug carrier, inhaled with a sniff of a nasal spray, reaching the upper regions of the nasal cavity. The gold uh, nanoparticle is it could carry the drug molecules, right? So if I, if I were to treat Alzheimer's and I want to deliver drugs to the brain, I would use the right drug, coat my gold nanoparticle, and then pass it through this and actually make individuals inhale it. The lab's director, Professor so Pratim Biswas, is the it's principal it's investigator. Right. He says the work in his lab could lead to the development of more effective methods and options to treat brain diseases and disorders, including brain tumors and brain injuries. They are making gold nanoparticles to be small enough to get the job done by being the right size to get into the right pathways, a direct route to the brain. Through the upper regions, the nasal regions of your respiratory tract, there are neural pathways directly to the brain. So we engineered this nanoscale gold particle in the range of five to 10 nanometer. And we choose the gold nanoparticle because we can easily control particle size, particle shape, particle surface charge, and particle surface area. When we change the particle size of the gold, the, they change the color from yellow to red or pink, or it depends on the particle size of the gold. They aerosolize the nanoparticles using an electro spray. This is a very important part of the process because you want to generate single uh, particles, and these particles then can be used as your uh, delivery device. Then we can generate a really fine monodispersed aerosol particle of this gold nanoparticle that can directly deliver to the brain. Reaching the olfactory pathways, our sense of smell, with a more direct route to the brain that only the nose can offer. They would need drugs to attach to the gold nanoparticles. It's like they are hitching a ride as the tiny particles take the drugs right through the brain's protective membrane, which is the blood-brain barrier. They would travel directly to targets within the brain. To see if the concept of a nasal spray would work, Biswas and his team needed to figure out if the nanoparticles would reach the destination accurately and quickly within 30 minutes to an hour. One idea came to mind, more like one insect. But for this experiment, this insect makes sense. So they approached the researcher on campus who has a colony of locusts. These are American locusts, and we grow them in our colony. Yes, they wanted to test the idea on locusts. Well, actually, we are very skeptical. We thought, uh, we have to go through different size, different shape, and uh, we didn't know how long it will take. Um, so like any research, we, like any new you know, f f uh, experiment, we don't know what will be the outcome is. But he said it was worth a shot since the blood-brain barrier in the locusts and their sense of smell have similarities to humans. In the insect, olfactory system is set up such a way that they have um, small olfactory receptor neurons, almost 50,000 on the antenna, which is similar to our olfactory epithelium in our nose. So here's what they set out to do. They produce the spray with gold nanoparticles of just the right size and shape 
that are tagged with fluorescent markers for tracking. So you shine, let's say, light on it, it absorbs it, and then it uh, sort of emits it at a certain wavelength, which is very well defined. This is a very precise wavelength, so I can detect that. It's also used as an imaging agent. Once the gold nanoparticles are created, they are brought into another lab, this biomedical engineering lab, where the locusts are then exposed to the aerosol. They have these antennae uh, which we expose to this gold aerosol, and then you look how their brain actually gets affected by this exposure. And this is where they track how nanoparticles travel from the locust antennas up through their olfactory nerves reaching the brain. And their research showed it worked. And it turned out that um, these particles do travel and travel pretty fast, actually within an hour. The results show how the nanoparticles got through the brain's protective membrane. And they say the spray did not seem to have any harmful effects on the locusts. Different experiments showed like proof that the particles are reaching the brain. So we actually f used this concept and sort of exploited it in a way to see if we could uh, transfer medication and drugs to the brain. The next phase involves attaching various medicines, animal testing, and the use of ultrasound. If successful, engineers say clinical trials could be at least five years away. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.